By 7 a.m., members of the FDC National Council had started gathering at the party headquarters in Najana Nkumbi. The party has been in the spotlight over claims by some members that the President Patrick Oboy Amriat and the Secretary General Nathan Andar Mafavi had received money from a suspicious source. The money in question was for the 2021 elections. The checking was thorough and then it was on to the registration desk. Many who were not members of the National Council were turned away. After the delegates had been seated, the Deputy Lord Mayor of Kampala, Doreen Nyanjula, complained that she had been beaten as she came into the premises. Deputy Vice President for Eastern Region, Salam Musumba, intervened. The meeting was then called to order as the National Chairperson, Wasabiri Gwa, told members what the party has been through recently and that this threatens the split. It is with a heavy heart that I report to you that for the last week the ha happening in this party risks to damage all the political gains the party has made in the last 18 years. At this stage, it is important to find fault, not to find fault with each other, but to fix the party and silence their guns. He warned the party members against taking tribal path while doing politics. Toxic tribal and regional talk that is now the center of public up, political discourse is a great threat to the party existence and unity. I must state that this tribal talk puts the party in disrepute. Before Birigua read the report to the council members, the media was asked to leave. During the lunch break, the chairperson of the Elders Committee, Frank Nabuiso, who led the investigation into the source of the funds that have destabilized the party, told journalists that their findings are credible. He, however, said that he would not divulge any details. So, in the last 38 years since I came back to Uganda, what have you heard about Nabuiso? Credibility is also attached to the, credi the credibility of a person. A number of council members are happy with the findings. We discovered that the Honorable Nanda Mafabi got some money as a loan from the bank to run the elections which took place in 2021. The report of elders did not at any point mention that some money came from the 70th state household. This report has disarmed anybody who had malicious propaganda about the party. What will they talk about unless those who want to cross and join other parties? Musumba said the National Council meeting adopted the report which shows that the money, 2.7 billion shillings, was borrowed from a bank to fund elections in 2021. I told you that the adoption of the report was 58 to 8. There was no evidence adduced on that allegation. That was the finding. That is what the report said. The leaders say they will now start on the journey to reunite the party. Jumakiria NTV.